just got delivery of the new driver wire adapters. Going to fit this one to the car. At the moment, I'm running this one, which is the original prototype. Didn't work out quite how I planned. I put a air temp sensor port there, but the way that it's sitting is just getting heat soak on part throttle. So redesigned it, taking out the sensor port. So it's just smaller, more simple design. I'm just going to test for it. Start the car up, make sure it's all working, and then get these ready to ship out. So you can see the, two, the difference in the two adapters. This one's been anodized clear as well. This one's just raw aluminium. A good bit smaller, pretty much the same design though. You'll want to get a brand new gasket. This one's just went on and this is just my test car. So I'm just going to reuse it. I've only done a couple of miles on this. Good thing about the design is it will go either way. It's important to note, these bolts need to be torqued. If you don't have a torque wrench, get one. Now the adapter has to go on first, the o-ring does sit a little snug, it should hold on but if you knock it it will fall down so be very careful not to knock it as you're bolting it up or do what I'm doing which is put your fingers around it so if it does fall you're going to catch it. Set the top wrench to 19 newton meters. Tighten them up in a star pattern. I've already tightened them up, but so one there and across. There it is there. The Bosch part number. You find it on the website. You find all the parts for doing this conversion on the website. So same again for putting this on. Um, you want it to hang like this. Plug facing down the way. That's the way you want it to be. Now, it's going to, need, going to need to be really careful here that we don't drop the O-ring. So just really gently bring it into contact. And then you want to get this on finger tight as quick as you can. Try not to move it around too much because you don't want the O-ring to move and get uh, squished. But again, just these in place and you'll you'll feel if the o-ring comes out of its seat there'd be an obvious gap and before you fit tighten it up but they're looking okay now these last two on that is a five mil allen for these bolts the other one is six mil and again you want to just Finger tighten these, make sure there's no bumps round about because that's how you'll know if the O-rings came out of place. Get these finger tight as much best I can and then we can go around torquing them. A lot less torque for these bolts. And again, just go around in a star pattern because as you tighten them up a little, it will pull into the O-ring as it squishes. You want to kind of do it in a nice even way and that's it obviously you got the wire in for drive by wire you want to plug that back in i shot fire in the car up i'm going to plug my air temp sensor back in using a completely different temp sensor now battery's back in so we'll just go and start it up Back again the day, trying to get it started. Got we got we battery charger on it. Almost ready to start. Got we jump pack here. I'm going to use that. Get it started up. And this time, this will be Halford's jump pack. Used this before. Works fairly well. Unplug this. Take this off. Got to be jump pack on. Give it a start.
These are available to buy on the EPYN website. You've got all the part numbers, everything you know. Also, if you've got an EP91, and I've also got GT86 pedal adapters. You can see where it mounts up there. I'll just put my foot to the floor. Even with the carpet in place, a little bit of clearance, enough clearance. Works pretty well. I'm quite happy with it.